Live from New Orleans, Louisiana, it's the Cube covering .next Conference 2018. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back to the Cube. I'm here with Keith Townsend, and I'm Stu Miniman. Happy to have on the program, first time guest, Joe Zarb, who's with SAP Labs. He's the Vice President of Global Technology Partners, and welcome back to theCUBE. Long time uh, guest, Venegopal Pai, Vice President of Customer Success with Nutanix. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be here, Stu. Great to be here, Keith. All right, so Venegopal, our, our audience has seen him a few times. Joe, let, let's, let's start your yeah. role uh, in, in inside SAP Labs, what, what your organization does. Sure, happy to do that. Um, so Joe Zarb, I head up our global technology partners within our global business development and ecosystems team, uh, basically helping our customers uh, to respond to their needs and their wants for solutions that span not only SAP, but their whole digital transformation agenda. So we do that with uh, partners, and we do it with global uh, service providers, we do it with software technology partners and hardware technology partners. Yeah, and, and, and Pai, we, we talked to Inder earlier today yeah. about customer success, but from an application standpoint, to tell us why, why you're here. Of course, no, thank you Stu, thank you Keith, uh, very good to be here again. Um, so the reason that I'm here with uh, Joe from SAP is we've had a long-standing relationship with SAP, uh, spanning almost four years, and uh, the reason it's important is as Nutanix becomes the, the platform that customers start to depend on for the infrastructure, the key elements of what value we provide the customer is to mitigate a lot of the complexity that comes from infrastructure and allow them to focus on the business value of the application. And the predominant application, as you start to global enterprises, large customers, SAP tends to be the lifeblood of that company and the business value of how they drive value. So our partnership with SAP is to really make sure that as we start looking at transforming the data center and moving them to a digital platform that makes it very easy to consume, the ability for transcending that value to an SAP application, making sure that customers have the trust of, if I run SAP on Nutanix, the trust of availability, performance, scalability, all the things that they need enterprise vendors to stand up to, we wanted to make sure that our journey with SAP started off early, our journey with SAP in making sure they understand the concept of hyperconvergence and the impact of what it does for them, has been a very fulfilling one, and has been a journey that will continue on for a long ways to come, so that's why we're here. So Joe, let's talk about digital transformation and the drivers. You know, SAP, rich set of data, it's, it's the, I've heard it called the cash register of the world. So many transactions go through that. With that said, it's also one of those areas that you say, oh, doubts they're not touched, SAP. Like, it is the system of record. However, it's a rich, rich area for digital transformation, it, the, the go fast, break, thing, th break things, uh, part of the IT team wants access to SAP. They want to get the data from them. They want to update transactions. Talk about that, that conflicting role that SAP has of, you know what, we're steady, steady, rock solid versus go fast and break stuff. Right, so that's a great question and what we're uh, facing at SAP are demands that are coming from our customers around what people uh, term as bimodal IT. It's they got to run their business, but they also have to innovate. So a big part of our uh, strategy going forward is centered around HANA, as you know, which is our real-time database, and it's a translytics database, right? So you could do transactions in it, you could also do analytics in, uh, with the database within the same data set. So it provides a very powerful uh, platform so that you could do your transactional an, uh, operations and the analytics in a way where you can innovate. So that bimodal IT and the relationship with uh, Nutanix and the other hyper-converged infrastructure players that we work with is really to focus on driving down the total cost of ownership in those operational areas, get to market quicker with those, and free up a technical center of excellence and functional center of excellence resources so that they can help the enterprise innovate. We have an entire platform that's dedicated just to innovation. It's our SAP Leonardo platform with our SAP Cloud platform, with Nutanix uh, and other hyper-converged players and our transactional system. So that, that whole digital transformation really needs to take into account, hey, you got to, you know, protect the base, you got to run uh, those core applications, 
but you can't take your eye off of innovation because digital transformation is all about innovations, business model reinvention as well as business process reinvention. So I think that's a big part of what we're focused on. So Pai, talk about Nutanix's role. How do, how do you help customers with that goal of saying, you know what, we gotta make the things that we do before are critically important, need to keep doing them, need to do it cheaper, need to do it faster, and need to do it more reliably while we look to, to innovation. Absolutely, and, and I think that's a great story in terms of what Joe talked about in terms of SAP's lead into making sure that the ship is steady as it goes while making sure that the innovation engine is not forgotten, right? Where we start seeing is that is the amalgamation of between the two saying, I've got my traditional applications running as is, but I got to embrace innovation. And if you look at what Nutanix has done and, and, and continues to do, as you saw some of the announcement this, this uh, event, is bringing that innovation in, but making sure that that innovation is brought with the respect of applications running in the data center and still giving the customer the flexibility of, hey, I want to embrace cloud. I want to embrace the concept of what cloud means to me, not just taking my data and moving it to the public cloud, but giving the ability to get the cloud-like heuristics, the cloud-like management, cloud-like flexibility, cloud-like agility, the consumption of cloud DevOps-like capabilities. So the combination of what we delivered in the infrastructure layer to convert hardware to software, and tied to what SAP is doing to drive that innovation from an application level, is a very good partnership conversation to have. Hey, how do we now blend this software base in terms of what we're doing in the data center and tie that to the innovation that SAP is driving at the application level and together that's when true innovation for customers starts bringing to light because they focus on the application because infrastructure but this partnership then brings the two together. So Pai, let's put some meat on the bone. It takes nine months, 12 months to deploy SAP infrastructure period. Yes. Nutanix, rack and stack, I can get a whole cluster up in less than an hour. However, there's still that SAP layer, that, that basis layer that has to be laid down. How are you helping customers get more agile in that so that they wow the business? Absolutely, and, and you know, just to put things in context, our SAP partnership has been around for four years, right? We've been SAP certified for two and a half years, right? Both for SAP NetWeaver running on VMware hypervisors, and then as of a year and a half ago, running on our AHV hypervisor. So we're bringing that hypervisor innovation into the SAP world, right? So that's one side. When you start looking at our software stack that start disseminating the focus on why things take so long for deploying an application, is because the application layer is complex and then the infrastructure layer is complex. So what we're doing is with, with the 40 to 50 customers you already have running on SAP, is what we bring is if we can reduce the complexity to the infrastructure layer, the speed to value of deploying an application becomes much, much faster. So that's why customers are gravitating Nutanix is because the infrastructure complexity has been eliminated as, hey, I, it takes me six months to spin up a infrastructure that's me to arrive where the application runs a VM, which server, which storage, I need to figure out networking, and then I spin up the application. When we bring in Nutanix, the ability for us to disaggregate all that layered complexity that comes into play speeds up the deployment of the application and therefore better time to value for customers saying, hey, I got to spin up the application in a few months, I can't wait for nine months because the infrastructure is slowing me down. We start eliminating that complexity. Yeah, Joe, one of the more interesting things to watch uh, in the industry is the change in how customers are purchasing especially from software, you know, the, the, the days of, you know, everything fully shrink-wrapped are, you know, long behind us, you know, it's the subscription economy now, Nutanix is going along that journey from, you know, buying to software to, you know, fully subscription model. C can you touch on what you're seeing and, you know, it, it maybe either you or Pi will connect how, how that comes together with Nutanix? Yeah, I, I'd be happy to do that. So what, what we are seeing, and this is implemented in our strategy and our go-to-market approach, is really that we live in a hybrid world. And I thought that that was a wonderful quote that uh, I heard here at the, uh, the conference or you know, uh, driven home in the keynote. Um, so we do, we live in a hybrid world. Uh, SAP strategy recognizes that, that's what our customers want. So we work very closely with uh, cloud partners like uh, Microsoft Azure and Google and of course Amazon uh, and others. And uh, of course we have an on-premise uh, suite of solutions. So when we start to look at these um, 
business models, it's oftentimes about right-sizing the business model for the workload and the need of that particular customer, sometimes for a particular industry. Now, where Nutanix comes into play in this hyper-converged infrastructure is, you know, there's some really difficult things that need to get done to make this world a reality, right? If you're going to move workloads and have them run in the cloud, you might have them run at the edge if it's an IoT solution, leveraging our Leonardo platform. You might have them running uh, in the core or you might have it running in a branch office. Every time you start adding those layers, you're adding complexity, you're adding cost, and you're adding a, a requirement for skills. So when we can work with close partners to downgrade the skills, downgrade some of the number of people you might need, create simplicity, and uh, create an environment where, you know, really it's a Nutanix uh, statement, but where our customers have that freedom to move their workload to the right environment to take advantage of it. Um, you know, those are the partners we want to work with. So, SAP Labs, we can't get out of a Labs conversation without talking, you, uh, well, no, we can't get out of a SAP Labs conversation without talking mobile and Fiori and all the great stuff that's happening on just uh, uh, taking advantage of the deep data, data is the biggest access, and, and mobile and getting that data mobile. Let's talk a little bit about the edge. What's the story between Nutanix, SAP, when it comes to stuff that CIOs care about today, and that's Fiori? Yeah, so I mean, it's a great question. So if you look at what um, Satyam presented yesterday in terms of our direction around IoT and looking at the edge as a very critical component of the entire operating system, enterprise cloud operating system model, right? One of the key things that we are spending a lot of time on is understanding the use cases for verticals and understanding, okay, when you look at a specific vertical, let's say it's oil and gas or energy or, or manufacturing, right? All of those verticals have a unique perspective on what IoT means to them. So IoT is a good buzzword and a good catchword, but when it comes to use cases and verticals, there's a very specific nomenclature on what they mean by IoT for them, right? So they spend, Satyam's team and Nutanix spending a lot of time in, in deciphering, what, deciphering what IoT means for customers, defining what use cases mean for that vertical, and then working with SAP and determining, okay, what does Leonardo mean for them? Because Leonardo is, a, again, is a platform. Within the verticals, we're working with SAP, saying, okay, within the Leonardo platform, within those verticals, how do we define what our value prop within the IoT landscape is when it comes to the edge? And so you'll see more coming from us, but we truly understand the importance of data, like you said, and the creation of data at the edge, and the importance of analyzing the data, maybe in the cloud. And that transformation of where the edge data is created and where it needs to be analyzed, that journey is very complex. And if we can make that journey simple, then SAP customers win, SAP application, deployment wins, and we're able to therefore you know, mitigate some of the complexity that comes with making that journey simple. Uh, you know, I might add to that is, you know, again, what Pai said is spot on, but if you look at it from a, a manufacturing point of view, moving to the edge, you know, customers are confronted with the reality of the networking complexity, and they're either going to take the processing and move it to the problem, or bring the problem to the processing. And so, to do that, it takes hardware and servers, and so there's a whole new genre of high performance gateways and hardware that's uh, emerging on the market from players like Fujitsu and Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Dell, what have you. And uh, it, you end up having a, a plethora of these devices at every wellhead, on every uh, AMI, AMR, meter reading infrastructure in a utility system, or you know, in every single plant floor. So how do you take that level of innovation that's happening now at the plant floor and make it part, not only of your operational system, but of your IT and your data center, so you could manage it with all the illities that IT people do. And I think Nutanix and SAP are uh, working to, to solve that problem, and our Leonardo platform is you know, what we have to, to drive that edge, and with Nutanix, it, it's a very manageable environment. Great. Well, Joe and Pai, really appreciate the update on where you are today, where some of the direction are, we're going to the future. Getting towards the end of two days of live coverage here at Nutanix.next 2018. For Keith Townsend, I'm Stu Miniman. Thanks for watching theCUBE. Thank you.